Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. APA will be uploading minimum 4 videos every week. So you're going to find new Cooking APA's video on um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, Malaysian time 7pm at night. For the past two and a half years, APA has made over 600 videos on my cooking channel. So go and have a look when you are free. Now somebody requested Appa to make yam rice Okay, yu tou fan uh, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of yam <laughs> uh, But luckily my wife quite like it So yeah, so Appa is going to make it today And of course, um, besides the yam rice later I'm going to make a zhu zha tang uh, not, using, not exactly using the zhu zha But um, a mixture of ingredients But most importantly is showing you how to make the soury soup as well so that will be another video okay um, in Malaysia you will always find the yam rice selling together with chu cha tang um, pig inner soup or or um, um, sometimes you will see some uh, uh, okay anyway it will come with some soup come some kind of soup so I have here approximately uh, this is about two cups this is the rice measuring cup that comes together with the rice cooker usually half usually half a cup is for one adult so this is two cups here right good for four adults yeah good for four adults um, of course I have one uh, bowl of um, uh, yam that is cut into smaller pieces so how does yam look like <laughs> I hope you all seen it before Okay, this is it So when you cut it out uh, You need to remove the outer skin And then cut it into small uh, bite sizes Yeah, bite sizes Right uh, You will probably notice that I don't use a lot <laughs> Because like I said, I'm not a big fan But yeah, this is about one bowl which is Good enough, yeah, good enough. Um, another thing which is important here is actually this one, the dried shrimp, okay? Just quickly rinse it under water. You can give it a few chop if you like. This is approximately one big tablespoon. Uh, this is really optional. Some people put it in, some people doesn't. Uh, I, think it's rec I think it's recommended to put it in because shallot oil, yeah? Use the fresh, use the fresh shallot to rinse to, to, uh, to infuse the, the rice with some shallot oil is very, very flavorful. So you only need these four ingredients here, okay? Very simple. And uh, when it comes to the sauce, you need some light soya sauce and uh, dark soya sauce. That's all. Okay, so first of all, you want to saute, especially the onion. Whoops, I think there's a bit of water just <laughs> inside my wok just now. <laughs> Bad example. Let's make. Oh, I won't open the on the fire yet. Okay, let's saute the onion for uh, a minute or two before we continue. Right? You'll come back shortly. All right. This is definitely more than one or two minutes. This is approximately uh, four or five minutes because I decided to bring some of bring it to a bit brownish, yeah, so that it's even more fragrant. Don't use too high heat. Don't use too high heat. If not, it can actually get burned quite easily. Like how you make the onion oil, yeah? Okay, and then we're going to put in... This is the dried shrimp. Also very, very um, flavorful. Very fragrant. And not forgetting our yam. Give it some nice stir. Now I can put in the rice. Tune down. Tune down the fire, 
tune down the fire to low when you put in the rice. Oh, now it's already very fragrant, mainly because of um, the onion, yeah, the fried onion. So, put in, recommended to put in the fried onion. Okay. And I'm going to give it one tablespoon of light soy sauce and uh, about two tablespoon a table to two tablespoon of dark soy sauce we can still add some dark soy sauce before serving depending what kind of color you like uh, actually most people prefer this dish to be very dark really dark but you don't have to add so much dark soy sauce right now uh, because you can always adjust the color right before serving when the rice is fully cooked yeah mm, it's already very fragrant and you know what you are 70 percent done so the next step is to put this rice i'm on low heat now right and i'm going to off the feet hold the, uh, off the heat and shift this over to my rice cooker okay so this is the inner port of my rice cooker okay the rice just now is, has been uh, moved to here and how much water to put uh, very simple usually actually this is you, you we use this measuring cup right so for jasmine rice is always one to one and um, one rice one ratio rice to uh, 1.1 of water one rice to 1.1 ratio of water so i will be adding about uh two just thought it was two cups here so i'll be adding about two slightly about two and a half around somewhere around two and a half into here just a little bit more than enough because i have i have a bit more ingredient here including um, including the yam okay but you don't have to too mu put too much water and you want to uh, balance it okay make it balance a bit right and then just put it inside your rice cooker and let it cook by itself then it is done of course like i said before serving if you prefer the color to be darker you can add more dark soy sauce okay so here's my rice cooker somebody asked me about what rice cooker are you using i will put the description in the uh, description box for those who want to know okay so let's change the it's white rice and the rice texture i would like to be soft then uh, let it cook right Oops. yeah okay uh i remember this will take about 40 to 45 minutes somewhere around there okay my rice my yam rice is ready uh i think the color is looks okay i don't think uh I don't think I need to add any extra. Ooh, <laughs> I accidentally break some yam. It's okay. Ooh, very fluffy, and I can smell the the dried shrimp. Oh, I can smell the yam actually. Nice. The color is black enough. So I'm just going to scoop out one. Ah. <sighs> okay. Put a bit more yam on top so that you all know this is yam rice. Okay, so here's my very simple uh, yam rice. If you like this video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. 
Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Oh, you can put a bit of uh, fried onions on top if you like. Yep.